Okay, so you're at number three. Spit into Epley's mic. Test, there. test, test. Yeah. Check one, two, check one, two. Oh, here, you're gonna. Oh, yeah, I can do that. Uh, you can probably go ahead and start the Facebook stream. Thought I did. Did you hit go live on Facebook? Uh-huh. Oh, you did? Okay. Let's see. Uh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we're live. Okay. We're live. All right, we're going to start here in a couple. Oh, I need to Facebook. Oh, thank you. Need to share that post. Don't uh. let me forget. Um, yeah, don't forget. Don't forget to take my charger with medicine. Me. No, take my charger. Okay, where's the? Okay, share this as two minutes. Oh, we need. Oh, I guess we don't need music. We're fine. Oh, <laughs> that really sounds gross. <laughs> well, I'm not doing. Actually, I guess it could kind of sound like that. Somebody scream! Check, check. Share now. Share. What's being stupid? What's being stupid? I can't. The stream is being weird. You're not seeing us? No, I'm seeing it, but it's. I can't pull it up on my phone for some reason. Episode 41. CDT. Gotta remember to put CDT. Daylight CST. savings time, yeah. Because you'll get all pissy. No, it. it's because you're wrong. Whatever. People know what you're talking about. You might be thrown off by the hour, man. I, I don't think so. I don't think anyone's... We got one minute here. One minute? One minute. <clears throat> Actually, 45 seconds. Well, I looked at the wrong thing here. Quiet on the set. What is that noise? Oh, let it's me turn that It's your fridge, off. isn't it? No, it's... Oh, not. it's the dehumidifier. Yeah. Due to our power issues in the studio. Oh, wow. That makes a huge difference. Yeah. Wah, 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 wah. All, right. All right. God, man, so that much, wall. So it's much shut up, Lulabo. What? That wall looks really white on the TV. <laughs> it looks I nice, <laughs> but it's absolutely not. <laughs> Welcome to Stuck in Beta. I don't know for how long. I, yeah, I don't know. The, did you just see the flicker? Uh, yeah, we're, we've been having power issues here in the studio. Yeah. Well, I'm Greg, and he's Josh. And we're missing Josh. Yeah. I don't know that we're missing him, but... I wouldn't say we're missing him. But um, uh, Yeah, he's he's probably... Got, I think he's got a kid thing. Yeah. He had baseball game Kid responsibilities. Something. Yeah. Uh, I don't get that yet. Yeah. Yeah, just wait. I don't know what that's like. Yeah. Molly will change that for you, I'm sure. Eh, probably. See, we have this uh, beautiful candle oh, yeah, we, if you're watching. Yeah, we have a, we have mood. We could turn out all the studio lights and <laughs> yeah. just do this by candlelight yeah. today if we wanted to. Uh, there's a reason for it. What's the reason, Greg? Uh, one of the dogs pooped down here. And one of Molly's still, dogs. Yeah. And the funny thing was, I so I got here before Greg did, and I, I'm upstairs talking to Molly, and the dogs are going crazy, so Molly makes the dogs go outside. Well, Gus comes back in a couple minutes later, you know, no big deal, he's bouncing around, I'm petting him, acting like normal Gus. Well, Greg gets home, we come downstairs, and <laughs> I, I didn't notice it right away, and Greg goes, did, did Gus just poop on the floor? <laughs> sure enough, Gus just took a yeah, nice dump on the right floor. Right on the floor. And man, it's stunk. Yeah. I, uh, yeah. 
jerk. So, yeah, Greg had a little... And then I yelled at him, and Molly's like, Oh, he's a nice boy. He doesn't know. I'm like, he should know. (laughs) And and Gus is just standing there, bouncing around. Pet me, pet me, pet me, pet me. (laughs) <laughs> Dog. So how was Vegas? You were we we didn't have a show last week. And Josh and I couldn't hold it together to have a I, show. I so. know you hardly you were able to hold it together for this show. I know he, I, it it was it's been a crazy week, man. Yeah. So how was Vegas? Vegas was good. Vegas was Vegas. We uh, went out there. We we did uh, Ramsey's again. Uh-huh. Ramsey Steakhouse. Great choice. Ramsey Steak. Um, I got a. What, what is it? A wagyu? 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 It's a Japan. Isn't it? A, it's a Japanese. Yes. American. I American Japanese steak. steak. The the cows are the sa- are the same heritage of Kobe cows, but they call it wagyu Kobe. in the, in America. The, yeah, because Kobe is Co- from Kobe, Japan. It's like calling scotch not from ireland oh, okay. whiskey and it's really this it's really the same it's same, just right so it's location. same same family of cows that have been transported to somewhere in america i think somewhere in california and uh it's called wagyu yeah and that that was the most delicious steak i've ever had yeah wasn't it i mean yeah. like you could you do you didn't really have to cut it i yeah. mean it, like you look at it and it falls apart it just melted in your mouth yeah and i'm i'm one normally i Get you like s- to chew your food? <laughs> no, I, normally I get my steak medium. Oh, well, I'm I'm sorry, but well, but when you go to a steakhouse that no, I got it medium rare. Oh, good. Okay, I did because going to a steak, uh, you know, a place that knows their steak that gets good quality right. beef, right. you can trust the chef, the yeah. chef, and knows what he's doing because that's kind of the reason. Like I, when you come to my house. And I barbecue. There, there you go. Yeah, you kn- you know how to you know how to, to cook handle the meat, meat properly. Yes, <laughs> you get it to the proper temperature. Yeah. Well, and I've read articles that say that really at, at high end places like that, you're supposed you you can say chef's choice right. because some cuts of meat require a different doneness than other cuts of meat. Like you know your wagyu perfect at at medium rare but some other cuts of meat need to be more finished so they say you're just better off saying man whatever the chef wants yeah and the the waiter when he he came out he basically said we recommend getting right. this temperature i don't think he did with mine but like the uh beef wellington molly had a beef wellington again and that was that's always good that's but, wonderful yeah and you, what'd you have for a side dish we had big bloated baked potato which has like this it's not bacon it's like prosciutto isn't it i think yeah it looks like little mini bacon slices though. yeah yeah and it's it's like uh bacon on steroids yeah it's, it's really awesome good. really yeah. salty yeah and then it has like a béarnaise sauce on it doesn't it uh oh on the steak oh, no on the potato i don't remember that maybe I thought it the did. potato had a yeah i'm pretty I sure it had a sauce it was on delicious it yeah, so what, there. what did um, Eric and uh, his wife get? Uh, Eric got the, uh, he also got the Beef Wellington, and Emily got the salmon. And she's oh, like, really? She's like, uh, I normally wouldn't get this, but it sounded good, and she's like, it was probably the best hmm. fish or whatever I've ever had. So wow. I mean, yeah. I'm not a big salmon person, so I don't, that's pretty but, cool. You know, I don't. I may not be a big, you know, fish salmon person sure. because I've never had it cooked properly. Right? No, that's, you know? that's a great reason. Yeah, because every time I, it always tastes the yeah. same. It's yeah. like, eh, kind of fishy. Right. You know, well, that's cool. But yeah, we did that. We went. Uh, uh, they have this awesome Taco Bell there now. Yeah, the brand. It's pretty new. Isn't yeah, it? the yeah. Taco Bell Cantina. It's got uh, behind the. Behind the counter, you see all these slushy machines because they have all these alcoholic slushy drinks that you get. But you see all over Vegas. Taco Bell has that. Taco Bell wow. has that. You can get beer if you want. Um, there, um, we didn't get that. We got the. We just got soda there. But uh, their soda taps actually have the tappers like beer tappers do. Really? Yeah, it's pretty cool. Wow. Man. And they have tons of merchandise and all that. And huh. then they actually have an up... They have, you know, two levels. They have an upper level and uh, 
on the upper level, you could sit around the counter to look look out. Each each place you sit has USB chargers. Oh, cool! To plug in your phone and stuff. That's so cool. It's it was a pretty. It was really nice. For was, t- how are prices? Were they the same? same. As, okay. Yeah. Yeah, it was probably the cheapest meal we had. <laughs> yeah, I'm done. What? Ramsey wasn't cheap. Oh, yeah, no. Um, was it crowded? The Taco Bell crowded? Uh, when we went there, it was kind of crowded. Um, it We found a seat, so okay. it wasn't that yeah, bad. It wasn't bad. Um, we did find, though, I guess most of the time when we go, we leave like on a Sunday and come back on a Thursday or something like right. that. This time we left on a Wednesday and uh, got back on Saturday. So we were there Friday and Saturday, and you could really tell. Oh, my God, yes. Friday and Saturday. It's nuts. Yeah. it's And I think it. I think it's mostly California people. Yes. Because... And they're crazy. <laughs> well, I mean, I'd be there, too. Five-hour drive. Oh, yeah. It, right. That's basically what it is. Five, six-hour drive. That's a trip to Branson for yeah, us, you know? Right. So the last time we went out there, last summer, we went out right after the 4th of July. So we flew out, the f- I think it was the 5th of July, which was on a Wednesday, or Tuesday, Tuesday. And we came home on Friday. And as the week went on, like, we get out there Tuesday, man, it's not bad, yeah. you know, not a whole lot of crowds. By God, Thursday night, it was shoulder to shoulder yeah. and wackos every... Oh, man, yeah. The the stripper card people, on Tuesday when we got there, you, like none of them, you yeah. couldn't find one of them yeah. if, you, if you wanted one. And then Thursday night, they were everywhere. Yeah, it was crazy. There really aren't as many. They're not. As, as they, I don't know what happened. I don't know if they ran them off the strip. I don't know if more and more hotels ended up buying... The sidewalk and making that private property. Well, I don't know because you still have uh, the 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 guys in the costumes and stuff. True. You have, yeah. You have more of the like when I first went. My first time in Vegas was 2005, I think. And oh, they were all they were at each corner, but yeah. I don't remember seeing anyone dressed as Spider Man or Pokemon or whatever. Really? But you know, the last few times I've went, it's like. You know, not that I care that there's yeah, no, stripper I mean, cards it, it, or anything. Yeah, no, it's just different. Did you, uh, so you ate at Shake Shack too, right? Yes, we did that Great again. Great food. And I thought they were going to build one here. They still haven't yet. Yeah. And, it's uh, unfortunate. Yeah, it's delicious. We, uh, I was going to say, uh, speaking of the uh, street performers, mm-hmm. there were two, see, what? Are you gonna, were they two big ladies dressed as showgirls with no shirts on? No. In front of Shake Shack? No. No, but we saw those people okay. already. But there were two guys. It was an Asian guy and a black guy. That's how they. That's how they said they. I'm the Asian guy and I'm the black guy. Oh, okay. And, uh, so they did a bunch of flips and stuff. They had music on. They were doing like really cool flips and gymnastics and huh. dancing type stuff. Well, and then all of a sudden they go. Uh, they wanted to. Uh, get some white guys so of course you know me uh, i i felt really tall out in vegas too i don't know what it is but it's the it, it's the desert air it no i didn't feel tall i literally was taller than most people really yeah huh. so uh they obviously picked me as sure. one of them so we had like four of a four of us guys in a row and then the black guy, he like, he had us, you know, bend over. Whoa! And, uh, where is this show? Going? Yeah, I know. I thought, oh shoot, because at one point the the guy he smacks me right in the ass. We ready to get ready? <laughs> smacks me in the butt. <laughs> like, oh great! And then like a little bit later, that he has us all lined up. He check your inseam. No, no, we're we're like ready that he's gonna jump jump over us. <laughs> and uh, he has. The, the Asian guy goes by, and he goes, okay, I need all you to bend over and touch your toes. And then he has you bending pretty far, and I thought they were going to joke and get behind you yeah. or something. Well, they didn't do that. So the, the the black guy came, and he did like this amazing flip over four of us. Huh. And he goes, all right, now what you do, you go home to your friends and family, and say you've been jumped by a black guy in Vegas. <laughs> Jeez. So, huh? 
They were where were they? Standing? They were joking about racial stuff. But yeah, they were. You know, it's all in good fun. Where were they standing? They were like right in front of. Uh, well, MGM has. Uh, where was it? I guess it, it. There's all these stores right. The Can- on the Grand others. Canyon Experience. Yeah, and all exactly. That. Yeah. Like right around there. Okay, M M&M and M store. Yeah, That's like right around the stairs and stuff. Which again is one of those areas that isn't in front directly in front of a hotel. I then last time we were out there, we noticed that there were more more of those art, you know, street performer stripper card people at places like that, at like the Grand Canyon Experience, and then down by Planet Hollywood, where there's those shops on the sidewalk kind of area. That's where they were. They weren't in front of the Cosmo. They weren't in front of... Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if that's... I don't well, know. he also, at one point, he said, you need to stand within... Anyone watching, you need to stand within this area because we'll get in trouble from these businesses. So, hmm. like, they had a certain... They must be space. cracking down on that, I yeah. guess. Which, I mean, yeah, it's interesting. So, um... I got kind of a personal issue. Uh-oh. You know about my personal issues when I go. Oh out to God, Vegas. yeah. Oh, that that's a great story. <laughs> that personal that, issue experience. So anyway, uh, <laughs> we won't go into that one. You ruined some hotel towels with that <laughs> so, story. <laughs> so let's just say the desert air doesn't work good on my system or something. <laughs> I just can't go. All right, that's what it, that Who can't that's what go it, number two. Yeah, that's what it comes down to. So God, you had this again, <laughs> and I drank so much water. I don't know what <laughs> people are tuning out. <laughs> oh God, that's hilarious. So anyway, I mean, and you you go to places like Hash House, a go go, oh, and you eat a ton of food, you eat greasy a ton of, food. We went to this. Uh, the uh, what is the name of the there's a buffet at Caesars, which was I, afterwards. I'm like, oh my gosh, you know, you yeah. eat so much food, and <laughs> you're eating all this food, so you're kind of like, but when it, you can't, you're you, miserable. You you look uh, there's CVSs and stuff on the oh, corners. Oh no! So I'm like, there's no way <laughs> I'm getting any <laughs> medication stuff because I've done that before. Yeah, that yeah. like. Is like stabbing a knife in your stomach and twisting. Yeah. So I thought, uh, like natural things. So I looked <laughs> up. things I found were, of course, prunes. Yeah, sure. Yeah. And uh, sugar-free gummy bears. Oh yeah, the Harabo. Yeah, um, yeah. I so, have an issue with those things. So I got those. I was eating those and all that, and I forgot about it, but it didn't really help or whatever. <laughs> so, um. Yeah, so it didn't really help, and I the whole time I'm miserable with and that. And crabby, I'm sure. So we get at the airport on our way home. <laughs> We're going. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Our I can only imagine. <laughs> we go through security. <laughs> the guy said, "Are you pregnant?" <laughs> no. He scans me or whatever, and uh, I see my stuff going through, and I'm like, well, "Where the where the heck is my backpack?" And then I notice, like, TSA is checking out my backpack. They, they got it going through a scanner or whatever. Oh, no. I see a girl on a computer checking out stuff. She's like, I don't know what it is and whatever. And then uh, then a guy, another TSA agent, puts it on his shoulder. All right. I, I go, well, that's my bag. What? He goes, can you come here for a minute, sir? Oh, no. So he starts searching through the bag or whatever. <laughs> he goes, there's something in here. And he finds the prune. <laughs> Seriously, he finds the prunes. And, wow! And he's like, "You're free to go, sir." <laughs> <laughs> like really? Wow! So, uh, I guess. <laughs> hey, look, there's Gus. Oh, great! You gonna poop again? <laughs> wow, that's hilarious. So, yeah, I, I, I just that kind of. You go other places and don't have this problem. No, I don't. Right? Yeah. I'm telling you, it's a desert air. That's bizarre. I'm f- I'm fine in Tennessee. If in Florida? And yeah. That's uh, weird. So he better not be sniffing around. He is. I we got a dog in the studio, and we Hug, need to yeah, beat him. Gus is down here for a drive-by pooping. So what else is on the agenda? Um. Well, uh, hey, you were talking... 
Well, you want to talk about Google I.O.? Sure, yeah. So today kicked off Google I.O. 2017. It's a big developer conference. Right. One of the neatest uh, things from Google Home that they had, well, I'll, I'll save that. One of the commands that's going to be released soon will be, uh, hey, Google, show my calendar on the TV. And it's oh. going to pop your Google calendar to the TV. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, it was. you'll have to go. You can find the I.O. Uh, keynote on YouTube. It, it is pretty cool. I know you could do a lot of that with the, uh, well, I guess it's got to be a Chromecast. Or yeah, Chromecast it has to be enabled. a Chrome-enabled TV. Yeah, so Chromecast on a TV. The really cool thing that I found that they're going to do with Home is free calling with Home. You can call any landline or cell phone for free with Home. And it will, really? yeah, and it's going to pick up your contacts by voice rec, the accounts tied to the phone. So you can say, hey, Google, call mom. And it will call, it'll know that you're saying call mom versus Molly saying call yeah. mom. And well, mine doesn't say mom in my contacts. Right. Well, yeah. The really interesting thing to me was that he said that you will not need to have it tied to a phone, that it will use private number to make those phone calls. You have the option to tie your cell phone number to that so that people it will receive caller ID and know who it is. But he said you do not, you will not be required to use or tie it to your cell phone. Huh. Which I'm not sure how, how that's going to... I mean, they have yeah. all those... Yeah, it doesn't... It's, I think it's going to make you get a new key. No. I think it's going to make you get it. There we go. Now, why is that loud all of a sudden? Well, I had to refresh that. Oh, okay. Okay. So I think we're, we're back. back. Yeah. I think we're back. Sorry about that. Okay. So, <clears throat> anyway, recap. Google Home, free calling, no need for a cell phone, which is really cool. They're also enabling, and that's going to be on all Google Homes. It's, it's not like new model or anything. Also, they're enabling Bluetooth on all existing Google Homes, so you can connect your phone to them, Bluetooth and stream music to them, if you don't subscribe to a streaming service like Pandora or something oh, like that. Oh, okay. Which, to me, seemed kind of weird, but whatever. Uh, what else do I have? Oh, Android. So, Android O, the new version oh. of Android, uh, people are rumored... Uh, Oreo? The, yeah, the rumors are Oreo. Is that That's what it's going to be called. Um, it's coming out. They said it'll be released later this summer. The beta is out now. If you, I think you can go to Android slash beta or something like that. So I don't know about getting... <laughs> I don't know about that. Um, I don't know about getting on the beta. No, I don't know that I would. Um, but dev release has been out for like six months, they said. Oh, yeah. Um, so they talked about some of the neat things coming... They're redoing the setting screens and all that stuff. <laughs> you remember when we when we worked together, you would watch the Apple keynotes and then make fun of Apple about stealing all of the Android yeah. items. Well, Google is pulling one from from Apple. This new neat feature they have: if you get like your Facebook or Instagram uh, icons, when you have a notification, it's going to put a little red circle with a number in it with how many notifications you have on that icon on your desktop. That is that's ripping that's straight brand from Apple. new. Yeah, right? right. Yeah. So I I thought that was funny. Um they also <clears throat> talked about advances in AR and uh VR. Uh some of the stuff they're doing with the VR is pretty cool. Uh they gave an example of Lowe's. I think they're working with Lowe's on this project to where you can the say home improvement store? Yeah, a home oh. improvement store where uh you can use Google Assistant. There's a ton of new stuff coming to Google Assistant. Um, as well, and it's uh, available on i on i devices now. I saw that, today. yeah. Uh, but like you could be what you could s open up Lowe's app and say, "I need this screwdriver," and then pull up your camera inside the app, and Google VR on your phone will put arrows on where you're supposed to walk as you're walking through the phone, and then when you find the bin, it will show you, it will highlight the screwdriver you're supposed to buy. So wait a minute. So. So every, I'm sorry, not VR, augmented reality, not virtual reality. But, so every Lowe's is going to be mapped like that? That's the example they gave. So literally, there'll be like uh, a mini Google uh, Maps car 
walk going up and down each because he even said you would you could use google maps to get to the front door and then assistant would take over with ar and show you where to walk to find your screwdriver see that's weird because it's you know, that they're working with lowe's because i remember home depot if you pull up google maps and you see home depot uh if you scroll in it'll show you the different, the different aisles lanes. The yeah. di- in, in home depot so I, I mean, I guess Home Lowe's paid some money or something. I yeah, don't I don't know. <clears throat> That's the example they use. So that was pretty cool. Uh, and then I tuned out after that. It got kind of boring because they were talking about programming languages and stuff like that. Oh, very interesting. So, yeah. Well, that sounds that sounds pretty cool. Um, I uh, I think... Uh, what, what were you going to say about Google Home? You said, oh, I'll save that for later. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing? Know. Okay. I don't know. All right, then. Nope. Hey, can we talk about Guardians of the Galaxy since Josh is yeah, here? Yeah, uh, we'll do that. Uh, okay. Uh, this is the spoilering time of the ch- show where we talk about movies that you may or may have not seen. This week, we're talking about Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Yeah. I'm acting like this is an actual segment or something. Yeah, I know. We, we don't have do, segments. We should well, we do segments. segments. Yeah. Um, so yeah, you saw it opening weekend, right? So spoiler alert. <clears throat> if uh, yeah, we are going to talk about the movie. Yeah. So you saw it opening weekend. Saw it on the Thursday before it came out. Yes. You went with uh, my brother Jeff, my niece uh, Jessica, and my nephew Logan. Okay. Did they all enjoy it? Yes. Okay. I went. Jackson and I went. And it's been a week or two now. We <clears throat> we thoroughly enjoyed it. Yeah. Really, really liked it. It was good. Some of the reviews I've read, though, are complaining about some of the off-color jokes, like Drax's nipple jokes and pooping and... Penis. Yeah. It, I don't know. It, it's Drax. He's just, that. That's him. That's kind of him, because he doesn't understand, like... He he doesn't understand human interaction too well, right? And that's kind of a joke in itself, yeah. And why he asks stuff that really wouldn't be appropriate for some people, but you know, yeah, like Sheldon Cooper. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I thought it was great, and and casting his dad as uh, what's his name, Kurt Russell. Kurt Russell was really good. Now my only so I. When uh, seeing trailers and all this, you have Baby Groot and all that. Oh, Baby Groot was awesome. And I was thinking, okay, are we going to have to see this Baby Groot the right. whole time? Yep. It's going to be so stupid. I agree. That. He was. It was funny. It was hilarious. Yep, played perfectly. The The part where <clears throat> you have uh, Yondo and Rocket in jail... And they're trying to get out. They need yeah. uh, that fin or whatever that Yondo needs. They go, just go to this drawer. <laughs> and, and Baby Groot goes to find it. He kept bringing back the wrong thing. Yeah, like every five time. or six different times. <laughs> no, that's a desk. Yeah, you know? <laughs> that's his eye. Well, wait, keep that. It'll be hilarious. <laughs> He'll wake up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was really good. And then that, that one of the cut scenes at the end of the movie, because there was five or five six. Five of them, yeah. Yeah, five or six. I don't know if the cut screens is the right term, but. The, the ending credits. Yeah, the ending credit clips was a teenage Groot and yeah. Star-Lord coming in and yelling at playing him on a, cleaning up his room. Playing on a, a game or something. Yeah. I am Groot. You know, yeah. Saying it real snot-nosed teenager. No, it was, it was a good movie, though. I... I was kind of worried in one of the battle scenes when Star Lord turned into Pac Man. I was kind of worried it was. So I've heard people complain about that as well. They're like, "Why they have to do that?" And you know, he talked about early. It was yeah. I know he referenced Pac Man earlier in the movie. Earlier he goes, "I'd have a big statue of Skeletor and a big yeah." You know, and uh, I think it's just that was he. He just got those powers, and you know, yeah. he didn't know what to do with them. Yeah, I'll be Pac-Man. I, I was, I at that point, I started to worry that it was going to jump the shark and get stupid. That was pretty quick, though. Yeah, it, yeah, it was, it was not a non-issue. I felt the whole. I mean, that's kind of a trope. The whole uh, 
set the bomb in the middle of the yeah. the thing and <clears throat> that'll kill it, you know. Yeah. It, whatever we, you know. Yeah, and that it was a brain. Yeah. Yeah. Now it. So you read the comics. I didn't really read Guardians of the Galaxy, oh, okay. though. But I do like how. Uh, I mean, James Gunn is from St. Louis. St. Louis. Yep. He's from Missouri, and it's it's cool that he brought it to, to yeah. Missouri. The opening scene, old Dairy Queen in Missouri. Yep. You know he. So apparently, in the scene at Dairy Queen, he has a lot of his family there. Oh yeah. And uh, oh, what was it? Um, his uncle. Uh, remember the the beginning of. The first Guardians movie, his yep. uncle is with him, yep. telling him to see his mother. Oh or yeah, right. Yeah, he's the one in the jeep that get that almost gets swallowed by that, that oh. thing of goop. Yeah, yeah. Huh. It's kind of a tie back. Uh, one thing though, I okay. You have this big, huge things just exploding on Earth. Right. You know. You have the Avengers on Earth. We're in the Marvel Universe. Why didn't we see just a little cameo of one of the Avengers saying, what the, you know, checking it out? Yeah. It seems kind of like a big deal. Yeah. Oh, I, 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 thought, I thought, okay, maybe we'll see this in the end somewhere, you know, in one of the end credits. Yeah, you know, then but, they would have had to pay whoever... That character Whatever. was. Marvel them. owns Disney owns them all. Yeah. You know? How many has uh, Robert Downey Jr. done yet? Oh, I He's haven't. done... He's played Iron Man about 47 yeah. times now. Right. That's a lot of movies. That is. Yeah. So what's the next movie? Uh, is it another... Cat? The next actual Marvel movie is Thor Ragnarok. Oh, that's right. But the actual next Marvel movie, which is Sony and Marvel together, is a Spider-Man Homecoming oh. in July. When's the next big Avengers movie? Then? I guess we can, uh, if if you're still listening, spoiler over. Yeah. Yeah. When's the next Avenger movie, then? That's next year. <clears throat> okay. The, uh, I don't know... You could probably find it on a thing called the internet. The Googles? Yeah. So, do you want to do, uh, try that, uh... No, I don't want to try it. You don't want to try that? We'll do it another week, then. However, that is a great name for... If we... We should make a, uh... Just a light beer. Yeah. For, like, 4th of July or whatever. We should probably do it soon. Yeah. And call it Brew S.A. Right? <laughs> Would that be a good name? I'm sure somebody has that already. Well, has we it copyrighted. Do it. Did you hear Logboat, Logboat Brewing is getting su- sued for copyright infringement? No. There's a brewery in Maryland. I can't think of their name. I'm sure if you... Uh, I follow Logboat on Instagram and Facebook, and they posted um, a response to a cease and desist letter from this brewery in Maryland claiming that they are... Shipyard. A shipyard, thank you. Their beer, Logboat's beer, Shiphead, is stealing the image from Shipyard's main logo, which is total BS. If you look at the two, oh, the logos. logo doesn't look the same at all. No, it, it the logo of Shiphead from the one on. Uh, wait a minute, the one from Forehands has a lady. Logboat, Logboat, Logboat. Sorry, uh, the one from Logboat has a lady, and her hair makes the shape of a like a schooner ship kind okay, of. Okay, yeah. Are they seeing the the word shipyard? No, I I think it's the logo. If you read their cease and desist letter, neither one looks the same. No, I agree. If, a drawing of a boat. I'm sorry, uh, like any kind of pirate schooner type. Right. It, they're all going to look pretty yeah. similar. If you read, are you on their Facebook page? I'm on the Portland Press. Oh, okay. No, uh, Logboat's Facebook page and Instagram account has a response from their lawyer that pretty much says, go pound rocks. Go pound rocks? Yeah, it's and I think it's pretty stupid myself. I was trying to figure out if AB or some conglomerate owns well, Shipyard. I could say... Well, even the na- if they were both named Shipyard, okay. But it's Shiphead and Shipyard. Ship, yeah, give I me mean, a break. Yeah, it's like the lettering doesn't look the same. I, Nothing. No, 
This is, yeah, look it up for yourself. Shiphead, Logboat, just look up, uh, uh, I put up Logboat being sued. Yeah. And I was able to find it, the first link here, but. Which is funny that Portland Press picked it up because Shipyard is in Maryland. The yeah. Bre- the brewery Shipyard's in Maryland. I don't know, it oh, wait. seems pretty uh, silly to me. It's Portland, Maine. The. That, uh. Shipyard's in? Portland based brewery. Oh, I thought is, it was in. So, I thought it was out east. Well, no, it's Portland, Maine. Oh, Portland, Maine. Gotcha. Okay, so and that's where the, the paper is. The gotcha. Paper was, I'm with you now. There you go. I'm with you. Yeah. Slow on the uptake. Yeah, you think Portland, Oregon. Yeah, yeah. Portland based brewery. So I'm almost wondering if what they say on this. So if there was anyone that it's funny that Logboat did this. You know, they they posted this response from their lawyer. Now a bunch of people that follow Logboat are going out and trolling uh, Shipyard's Facebook page. Oh, here you go. In response to civil action filed against us this week for the use of our Shiphead trademark, we offer the following comment: Logboat denies that its Shiphead mark infringes any trademark rights of Shipyard Brewing Company. Logboat Shiphead Ginger Wheat trademark was registered in the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office following examination by trademark examiner. Blah. So yeah, yeah. Yeah, Logos in like Mark. 2015 or something it says, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah, July 21st, 2015. Yeah. So it's two years old. And they, if they hold the trademark, they have nothing to stand on. Yeah. So, yeah, it's crazy. So, yeah, it's nuts. So, anyway, a lot of people that, that follow Logboat and are fans of Logboat are going to the Facebook page of Shipyard and trolling them. The funny thing is... Shipyard, if you pull up their Facebook page, Shipyard posted a picture of this contest that they're running, and it's something about, like, taking a cruise or something, and the logo, the image that they've used, looks just like the Bud Light contest that was a couple years ago, Cruise with Bud Light, where it had two cruise ships and the... <laughs> you put it. <laughs> yeah, I, I will admit that I'm one of the trolls that <laughs> said copyright infringement on that logo. I mean, come on! Yeah, <laughs> sorry. Uh, yes, I by pe- people. Yes, I am one of the trolls. But there's people posting on their page, oh my giving them hell. <laughs> <laughs> That's all there is. <laughs> yeah, it's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> and then someone put a picture of uh, Dave Chappelle as the crackhead. Saying, Y'all know where I get some of that delicious shiphead. <laughs> Yeah, oh, it's man. silly. I can't believe they're doing. Normally the normally the craft beer market, the owners. La, know, it I, said Lagunitas. Remember they did the same thing to a uh, smaller, and then they they stopped. Oh really? Yeah. Um, gosh, I have to look. At I mean, it's surprising because normally the the demeanor and the mentality of these folks are are pretty laid back. Yeah, if you've ever been to one of these breweries, everyone there is like, yeah, yeah, beards and beer. Yeah, I mean, it's <laughs> very rarely do you find someone that's high, that would think it's a good idea to do this. this I don't know. This is what happens when um, it's a, a corporate mentality. Corporate, yeah, yeah. It gets involved. That's well, why I was trying to figure out if they were owned by someone else. You know, owned by InBev or Miller Coors or somebody like that. Oh, um, Lagunitas. Changed some of his packaging when Sweetwater Brewing complained about the use of 420 on Luganita's products. Huh. So, nah. Anyway. Beer, I mean, like, you run out of names. Yeah. You know? Well, and I think this is more to do with the logo than it is the name, yeah, isn't silly. it? Yeah, it's stupid. So, hey, uh, I hear your dog is doing oh, some he's weird got some he's, habits. Yeah. Now. So we've had to start to start locking him in the kitchen when we leave because he pees on the floor if we don't oh, so because he's getting old he or? is getting old yeah and so we put his bed and his blanket in there and his food and water he's got everything he needs so we've come home today today was a new level but last week one day i came home and he was in the damn pantry sleeping on a pile of napkins <laughs> oh okay that's They're weird comfy. So we tried to make sure the pantry's closed. Well, I came home, I guess, yesterday, no, yes, Monday, 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 I came home Monday, and I guess we had left the pantry door cracked open a little bit, and he was able to work it open enough to get in there, and he knocked, there's some cans of soda, he knocked all the cans of soda out into the kitchen so he could get in there and lay. 
It's like, okay, this is getting silly. <laughs> so he, he likes to lay or sleep under something. Like, he has to be confined. Yeah. He feel, I guess he feels safe. Like a little safe. cave. Or... Yeah, he feels safe that way. So today when I left, I'm like, okay, he's locked in the kitchen. I closed the pantry doors. There are those sliding doors. I thought, okay, he'll be fine. So I didn't notice that the corner cabinet were all like our spice rack, the little turny-turny thing. Lazy it, Susan? Yeah, it, it's the corner cabinet. I didn't notice that that was open. So about 3.30, I get a phone call from Jackson. He said, Dad, Buster got in the Lazy Susan the, where all the spices are and knocked all the spices out, and he's in there sleeping. <laughs> Damn dog. <laughs> he's hiding in there. He's hiding in the cabinet now. <laughs> he knocked all the spices out so he could sleep in the cabinet. So how do you keep, because I know you have a pretty wide... We open. put we put the gate between um, like that little island island area and the other cabinets. Oh, okay. So and you then, have like, okay. So you have two. Yeah, and then the walkway. I was gonna say the wide. You have a big wide area. Yeah. No, and he he's been doing fine, and he doesn't pee when we lock him in there either. Well, even if he did, it's on a hard yeah, surface. Yeah. Right, well, in our living up. rooms, hard surface. Well, yeah, it's laminate, true. but I don't. I mean, I'm tired of it. Yeah. But yeah, it. I don't know. It's funny. Oh, He's man. got a personality now. Yeah, I've been hearing one of ours barking this whole time. It has not stopped. I'm sure there's something important yeah. that she's trying to get your attention yeah. about. She wants in. That's what's important. And she's a muddy mess. Yeah. So hey, you went to Madame Tussauds while I you were in Vegas? I did go there. Yeah. And got pictures with all the celebrities and all that. Yeah. Something I noticed from the pictures that you were posting online, I don't think they looked as good as they did when when we were out there a couple years ago. So do you think it's just cameras are better now? I don't know. I don't know. Did they look that good in person? They looked pretty good in person and I I'm wondering if cameras are just better now and they could maybe they could pretty much pick up that the you know that it's fake. Maybe. I don't know. Because yeah, a lot of those I I guess you got to get a perfect angle, angle for yeah. it to look um one one area we liked, um, you know, it was kind of the same. Uh, you had a few more celebrities that you didn't have before. Like, I like that one. Like, there's one picture of me pushing Miley, Miley Cyrus on yeah. the wrecking ball. Yeah. Um, but they had a whole uh, uh, Avengers area where, uh, you know, they had Captain America, the Hulk, Spider-Man, and uh, uh, what's his name? Uh Nick K- Nick Nick Fury. Oh Nick. yeah, uh, Samuel L. Jackson. Yeah, but at the end now they take you in this 4D movie, so they you get in this theater and you get the 3D glasses or whatever you sit in these seats and um, while you're watching it, you know something explodes. Well, all of a sudden you smell smoke. Oh really? You know, or, That's cool. Or like um, like. Something gets like splashes water and then water squirts yeah. on you or whatever. So kind of like the bug life, right? Yeah, kind of like that. Disney. And at one at one point, you're you're sitting there. Spider Man gets uh, hit with this this uh, I don't know like electric thing. Then all of a sudden, you feel like a jolt in your huh. back. So it's just like the yeah, the it's bug basically life, like right? it, yeah. But it, it was it was really neat. I was I wasn't expecting to see something like that too. But because that that was all part of it, and really that was about the cheapest one of the cheaper things we did. They really, had, I found a uh, a coupon a coupon online coupon, coupon. and uh, it was uh, it was thirty bucks for the two of us. So well, that's not bad at all. Yeah, I know it's really. Cheap. I think we paid way more than that when we yeah, went. Yeah, it's twenty nine ninety nine normally. So I'm thinking that's what we paid. Yeah, so it was basically buy one get one free. That's not bad at all. Yeah. Were there many new people in there from when we went? I was expecting to see like uh, Trump, you know. Oh yeah. But I didn't see no. There, oh God, it'd be destroyed. There was absolutely no uh, presidents or anything. Huh. I remember, like, their whole area, like, Ben Franklin and Abraham Lincoln. and Really? Yeah. I don't remember any of that. Uh, maybe not the time. Maybe it wasn't when I went with you, but... Huh. Was Hugh Hefner still there? Yeah, Hugh Hefner and Jenna Jameson. Yeah. And Katy Perry and... Oh, yeah. yeah. 
Britney. Yeah. Well, Britney's in Vegas, so of course they gotta have Britney. Yeah. Huh. Anything new? Did you go to the new hotel, the that Asian inspired hotel? Asian inspired hotel. It's like a new hotel down on the north end. That's its uh, primary focus is folks from Asia, and it's all the signs are in Japanese and Chinese first, and English second. I'm, do you? Not I don't see, it's like Lucky no. Dragon or something like that. It so, was brand new. It, when we were out there last year... It was on the Strip? Mm-hmm. It was getting ready to open, uh, I, don't I think, at the end that. of July last However, year. However, it's funny you say that. There was an abundance of Asian people yeah. there. Uh, we were at the Bellagio... This was Thursday night? Thursday or Friday night? I, I think it was Thursday night. And we, we were... Uh, you know, we saw the show in front of the Bellagio, and then we were walking into the Bellagio, and you know how they kind of have that flower little yeah. art stuff. They had a big, like, it, it almost, a, it almost uh, looked like a Fu Manchu. It guy was a Chinese a, warrior thing, Chinese wasn't it? warrior thing, and uh, like dragons and yeah. stuff like that. So, I mean, I guess they were all there for that. I, I didn't really because we were like, uh, we were we're like in and out. We weren't in there very long. Yeah. That's a neat area too, though. I was going to ask. Uh, so, remember at Mandalay Bay, we went to yeah the Mix Lounge. Mix Lounge. It's it not there be, anymore. It's a restaurant. Foundation Room must be what it is now. I thought it was a restaurant now. So, I think it's owned by House of Blues. Really? Yeah, because the only thing I saw that actually went up. That you had to go up. It was like the sixty third floor. It was called the Foundation Room. I don't know that. I and thought we were had, higher than that. It said it had great views of. Uh, Did you go to the, the same strip. area past the sports book? Uh, it was the only one that I could find in huh. Mandalay Bay that went up. Interesting. And when we were sit standing there, we noticed there was some sort of dress code, and this was actually a Friday, and there were a lot of girls and. Like their club wear and all that, which means very little. Yes, but it it definitely looked like a scene that we weren't ready for. <laughs> so <laughs> we didn't go up because we didn't want to go up there and have all the DJ boom tis boom tis music and you know huh. all that. And I think there was a cover to get up there. Oh, really? Because I remember when we went up there. It, like I was we went early. You were with me, so we were there at like yeah. three in the afternoon. No, because it we was, saw a sunset up there. It was dark. Yeah, we got up there and the sun was still up, and we watched the sun go down. Yeah, but we had the drinks were stupid expensive. Mm-hmm. I remember that. It was called the Mix Lounge. I my I swear, last summer my boss went there, and it was a restaurant, and it started. I want to say like Andrea's or something like that, because um, he had dinner up there. Said so he had a really good lobster dish up there. Mix Grill and Lounge? No. It, I'm, it's not... I know that's not the name of it now. Um, I don't know. Doesn't yeah, that's, that's not in on the strip. Huh. Interesting. So, uh, did you... Any new games? Any new slot machines that you played that you had to... Um, okay, so all of them pretty much... They're I, the same. They're... Yeah. Yeah, they're... There was a Sharknado one. I saw oh, really? That, you know, uh, tons of Walking Dead and Breaking Bad. Or I'm not. No, Breaking Bad was one I didn't get to play. I saw that and I'm like, hey, I need to play that one. I never got back to it. Uh, Eric uh, played this. He's a big Michael Jackson fan. They saw the uh, Cirque show. They said it was amazing. Really? They were talking about um, the. He was telling me about. Yeah, uh, the Billy Jean, you know. Yeah. Uh, so they turn out all the lights. They have like their their costumes are like lit up like a streamline, just like a light down huh. one side of them, and they're like on the wall, and they're moonwalking up. Oh, the that's wall. cool. And I'm he, telling you, Cirque shows are awesome. Yeah, he said it was it was amazing. We were we were on the fence about going. It was. It was about a hundred and something. I think it was like a hundred and seven bucks. Yeah, and each, yeah, right? Each. Yeah. And we had just gotten. We had just eaten at Ramsey's the day before, and Which that was, was probably two hundred. It was a big bill. Yeah. yeah. 
So we're like, uh, do we want to drop another two hundred dollars here in Vegas, or do we want to save it for something at home? That, yeah, you know. So yeah, huh? We didn't win any money. You know, the best I did was playing. I never went to the tables, but you know the big old scr- the blackjack tables with the big old screen, yeah. the digital dealer. Yeah, hi, and she's got the big old uh, cart yeah. deck of cards. Yeah, big old deck of cards. Uh, I was doing well doing that because I I feel blackjack takes some sort of skill. It's yeah. not just pulling a yeah. pulling a lever. Um, I didn't. I wouldn't say I went away winning anything, but I didn't lose right away. Huh. And the same with craps. But we were ready to leave. I uh, I was at one of those uh, big old <laughs> where they have the the. Uh, the big dice. That yeah, flip. in the middle, like the tr- yeah. game of trouble. Yeah, yeah. I love That's how I played when we were out there. Yeah. Because the table, the real tables are stupid expensive. Yeah. And I, so it was one of those, I sat at it, I'm like, man, I think I kind of remember how to play. And then I started, oh, yeah, this is how you do this and that. Because I remember, I remember you put it on the pass line and you could play for a real long time. Yeah. And, yeah, and I'm like, oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. You can sp- spend forever playing the pass line. Yeah, so it was. It. Was, I wish I would have played that a little earlier in our trip. Yeah, maybe I could have. I don't know about win anything, but I could have. Because when I played it, it was time to go. It yeah. was like we need to get on our shuttle bus to the airport. Or whatever, yeah. So hmm. no, that's a good way to pass time. So so your flight left at six thirty. Six thirty, we got home at eleven or ten thirty or something. Like oh, that. that's not bad. Yeah. Are you sure? It left it because okay, it's a two-hour difference. It left at six. Okay, I was gonna say it's a two-hour difference and a three-hour flight. Home, it was a little before eleven. Okay. Oh, and here's stupid me too. So I got Project Phi. You got Project yeah. Phi. No, I don't have Project Phi. I'm still on AT and T. Oh, you're still on AT and T. Well, at I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. I thought you were so. At the airport, they have these kiosks that say Project Fi on a big old, it looks like a big vending machine. Well, on our way home, I'm we're about ready to go down the stairs to go to the baggage claim, and we notice, hey, Project Fi or whatever, and Molly's like, hey, do you want to go check that out? And I'm like, eh, I'm just ready to leave or whatever. So I didn't, well, I look it up later and find out that it's, free goods for any Project Fi traveler. Are you kidding? You basically go there, you log into your account, and it'll give you like free charging cable, free sleep mask, free... Uh, uh, what else? Some other... There's a few different things you get just free from that thing. Wow! I'm like, this is stupid. I wish... I, I mean, I literally was 10 feet from one, and I'm like, eh. Wow! So is it the St. Louis airport? Yeah. Huh. Apparently, they're all over. Wow. And they're just, uh, yeah. Uh, huh. I'll look that up. That's cool. Well, huh. it's about that time, Greg. It is about that time. Where can you find us? We didn't really have a snack this week. No, it's because Josh was supposed to bring it, and he didn't show up. Yeah. He's kind of a jerk. <laughs> hey, he's all right. Uh, there we go. Uh, find oh. us... Hey, go to stuckinbetapodcast.com. You'll find everything you need to know. Uh, also, go to Facebook. And what else do we do? Instagram, Twitter. Just search for Stuck in Beta. You'll find us. And subscribe on iTunes, Google Play, and Stitcher. Subscribe on all three. That's fine. Yeah. Doesn't doesn't bother us Helps at all. our hit count out. Maybe yeah. we'll get uh, somebody to sponsor. Big sponsor. So, um... I guess that's about it. Yeah, that's about it. Um, you need to oh, get... Uh, hang on. Hang on. Keep yeah. talking. Uh, and remember... Oh, nope, wrong one. Damn. Don't play the intro at the outro. See you next time. <laughs>